Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club. Morning, everybody. It's DJ MV Angela Yee, Charlamagne the Guy. We are the Breakfast Club. We got a special guest in the building, Shantae Wayans. Yes, Welcome. Indeed. Hey, what's up? Thank you for having me, man. How are you? How's your life changed since uh, they ready? Uh, Comedy special hit Netflix. Man, uh, finally getting recognized, and okay. uh, you know, uh, just it's it's just been amazing. I opened up a, uh, a lot of doors, a lot of opportunities. Uh, my tour is starting. Uh, you know, trying to develop some stuff, and uh, I mean, it's you know, my fan base has grown so much. Or, yeah, Tiffany Haddish handpicked all the comedians on there. So, what's your relationship with Tiffany Haddish that she said, okay, she's dope. I got to get her on. I mean, Tiffany and I, we we've been friends for over like I want to say like twelve years, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, the beauty about Tiffany and and our circle was we didn't have beef like that. You know, a lot of times, like, you know, people feel competitive and so forth and so on. So Tiffany and I, it was just always that relationship where it was like, yo, game's open for everybody and we want everybody to win. So you was beefing with people? Not beefing, but it's it's a lot of competition out okay. there. It's already hard for, you know, the mm -hmm. female comics and, you know, so forth and so on. And so it's like, you know, even as far as uh, auditions, you know, it's like you hear about auditions and you... You know, you want somebody to succeed, but you don't want them to get the part. You, yeah, because you, know, you, you want it. You want it, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's like if one of us wins, it's almost like we all win it. Now, with the last name Wins, do you have a lot of, of, of pressure being a comedian? I mean, of course. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's It's been like my whole life with that. But that's why I tried to take the journey of just trying to make a name for myself and, and not use that last name mm -hmm. to, uh, you know, put me where I'm at now. What's wrong with nepotism, though? Nothing, but I just had a problem with it. You know what I'm saying? I, I just always, it, it's like that search for identity. You know, it's its the its the way people treat you, mm -hmm. you know, because stuff wasn't really working out for me. Like, people would be like, yo, just go up <laughs> to the club and be like, you Shantae Ways. And I'm like, I'm Shantae Ways. They'd be like, so? <laughs> so, you know, only if they was there right. yeah. would it, like, really work out for me. You, you said know? sometimes they'll be like, Shantae, we got this role for you. But we just need you to get. Uh, <laughs> we just need you to show some tits, you know, some <laughs> some breasts. That? Can I say it? Uh, well, you know, you just got a <laughs> show lot of some tits. <laughs> I was gonna say got... we need you to get Damon Wayans. Oh, 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 that's my left. That's my left. That's my left. You was there. I'm like, why would your family be asking you to show tits? No, no, no. I thought you was talking about like the people, you know, in the networks and stuff like that. That was a setup. No, that was a setup. We didn't know where you were going. I didn't know. I didn't catch it either. I should have let her finish the sentence. But who asked you to show tits? Who you who you no, you get, you get, those are the things you was, you know, I was getting to. It's like, you know, you, wow. you if you want more roles and, you know, so forth and so on, they're just sexy. like, you gotta be sexy. You should, you know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. go in there and show, show your stuff because cause that's what people was uh, into. Oh, well, we're glad and I hope that the industry is changing now. I mean, yeah, with Lena. <laughs> and they're still and, uh, not just saying, show me your tits for roles. <laughs> no, no, no. It's just, you know, I mean, I literally, like, they, I went to do CBS Diversity and uh, I had, you know, I had this agent that was just like, girl, you need to do this you need to dress up and I went in there and the crazy thing was like I knew a lot of people in there so they can see the uncomfortability I'm just sitting here with this like somewhat cleavage and it was just so <laughs> so you had a dress on but you were still like well I, was, I, I had my boy pants on and I tried to show like this the little, <laughs> give him a little give him a little something but then knowing people you like you know it's it's uncomfortable mm -hmm. the is that irony a stress ball in your hand you said what is that a stress ball yeah that's a stress ball I was about to say I love your shirt hey, where you get it from um, shit. All right, we ain't got to promote yeah, that. I can't remember. <laughs> nah, nah, damn, I feel bad yeah. that I can't remember. <laughs> nah, nah, I got, yeah, I got a God stuff ball with damn it. Too. They that, send me stuff all the time, too, because you know, I deal with anxiety, so. Yeah, yeah. I, I got a box of scrub balls right there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it actually works. <laughs> it doesn't, it helps that it got this little face, too. Now, for yeah. Christmas and Thanksgiving, right, when yeah. you have family dinners, do you got to prepare yourself for family dinners? Like, I got to write this because I know they're going to get at me, and I got to get at them back. Does you, it work like that? You don't know what you're going to get. You know what I'm saying? You're just going to get a lot of different octaves of laughter and people, like, trying to one-up each other. That's that's what's dope about those type of things. Even my grandma would try to chime in uh, in certain things. But if you bomb, that's that's been, like, our best open mic. Because hmm. if you bomb, you everybody on that block going to hear that laugh. Right. That sounds like a special right there. That's, yeah. Thanksgiving with the Wayans. Right, right, right. right. Where do you that's... land with the Wayans? Like, how are you a Wayans? Like, what are you a... My, so my mom is a sister. Okay. Uh, you know, it's 10 kids. My mom uh, is a sister. and A I'm, sister of yeah. Keenan and David. Yeah, 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 and okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got gotcha. so, you. Uh, but so, yeah, that's I mean, your I'm uncles doing. and aunts. Yeah. All right, okay. Yeah, yeah, Did you ever want to do anything else, though, just because of the pressure of being 
a star in the entertainment world? I, I actually didn't want to be in this industry uh, until I moved out to California. Mm-hmm. So I, I was into computers. I tried to go to Seton Hall for uh, mm-hmm. computer science. And then I just felt like I was taking another year of high school. And I was like, I'm out. Mm-hmm. Um, so I went to Cali and uh, uh, was able to find computer work in there and I'm working on the sets and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. And I found comedy and fell in love. Now you said you came out the poor side. I did come what out What is the poor. poor side of the Wayans family? Poor, poor side means... There's no poor side. No, no, no. It's, it's struggle. You got to understand, it's a, it's a huge family. So mm-hmm. it's not like poor where we was like scrape, you know, trying to scrape up stuff, but we lived in the project still or, you know what I'm saying? Like I got a car for graduation, but we didn't move out to a mansion. You know what I mean? So it's like I just had a nice car in front of the projects. <laughs> but know? didn't all of the Wayans come from like... We all came for the yeah, projects, right. but you know, it's just listen. It's a big family. Mm-hmm. Uh, they got kids. They did. They did a lot of stuff for us. They gave us work. They did all that stuff, but everybody didn't have that type of money. You know what I mean? Everybody couldn't just get up and travel, or you know, they was doing they was doing real work. So it wasn't one of those things, but one of them make it, everybody make it. It's kind, a lot of people. No, no, no. They, she still got a call for graduation. Right, right, right. No. What kind of car? Doors. Uh, <laughs> well, back in the day, well, look, you're right. Um, it was a it was a Ford Explorer. Uh, that's uh, that's that's nice. Yeah, it was, it was actually new really used. dope. No, new, brand new. Okay, brand okay, new came right. in. It was, you know, in the yard and stuff like that. But um, <laughs> yeah, no, we we. It's not one doesn't. You know, one makes it. Everybody. It's like you have to also want this. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This industry. This all this stuff. So wherever position they try to put you in. You still have to move forward, and you know not everybody was, um, you know, wanting to be a part of this world, or you know, so on and so on. So. You've been in some movies too. I have, you know, I had, uh, you know, I had a little cameo in uh, Fifty Shades. You know, I said, "Bitch, you smell like shit." That was that was my line in that. Bitch, you smell like yep, shit. that was my line. Uh, uh, <laughs> that's that be the hardest thing, though. Like I went, I went and auditioned for that, and you know, I, I auditioned in front of my uncle, and I and I, I was supposed to. Uh, How old were you? Ah, oh, shoot. When did that come out, man? Don't tell. I ain't gonna tell you my age. Um, well, you had a Ford Explorer, and that was a dope car then, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> we all in the same age bracket, I'm assuming. No, no, no. You're right, you're right, you're right. Um, no, no, no. So you um, was young saying, bitch, you smell like shit. No, 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 no. I was, I was probably like maybe late. 30s. Late, late, no, shut up. <laughs> I was eight, uh, late 20s, late 20s. Okay. Uh, but yeah, I went in audition. I, I went in with like a skirt and all this stuff, for like, because we went in for a big part. And um, what was the girl name? Jenny. Jenny got the part. Mm-hmm. Um, but I went in. I did all this stuff. My uncle was like, "You did good. You did good." And I was like, <laughs> "Did I get it?" He was like, "I got something else for you." <laughs> How long did it take you to learn that line? Uh, yeah, I was trying to make the best of that line. So I literally was sitting there like, "How many ways? How many?" You know, it's like also trying to stay in the camera. Yeah. You don't even have to say nothing as long. I was like trying to lean on Kelly's uh, shoulder. And they just kept going, Shantae, could you just step <laughs> Scoot 15 <over>. steps <laughs> to the right? <laughs> so, yeah. Do you tell them when anything's <laughs> whack? Like, are you okay to be like, ah, that movie wasn't it? Or, you um, know, I watched a stand-up that didn't hit like that. Definitely. I mean, you know, us being on the road, you know, and stuff like that, too, was, was you know, you go back and forth with that. But I think, I think it's always different when you know people. You know what I'm saying? So you we we know our humor mm-hmm. and we know where we're trying to go with it. And so I think, you know, we're honest. We're very honest with mm-hmm. each other, but we also have a different type of humor that we just get instead of, you know. What they say about your special when they saw it? They they loved it. They liked it. They said, you know, um, Uncle D hit me up and said, you know, I thought it was a good representation of, of you know, that and, and you spoke your truth and, you know, I'm proud of you. And pretty much everybody said that. One of my uncles tried to get me punch ups. I was like, I shot the special. Already. Trying to get you punch up, punch up. Yeah, he was like, you know what you can do with this joke. I said, it's already over. <laughs> which uncle? Which uncle? Was that? <laughs> Keenan. Keenan? <laughs> nah, Keenan is just dope though. Like I, I literally was like, why wasn't I coming around you uh, a long time ago to to get these these punch ups? Because he's freaking brilliant. It's interesting with, when you have that ecosystem of successful people though because you can lean on them but then on the other side you feel like I want to do it myself Yeah, to feel like I guess you're 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 with them so to speak like yeah, they respect you, you more I guess well my family is very much like that they mm-hmm. want you to work you know and they want to see that you want it and um, you know that's kind of what it was and then I kind of got I started rebellion you know it's, it's, it's hard to go like oh uh, I appreciate them and, and working for me and stuff but when you hear other people like oh she probably got that because of this like mm-hmm. you know even with with the mm-hmm. netflix sometimes they probably like you know keenan probably called tiffany and was like it's like no like i really wanted people to know that i worked 
you know, hard for myself, especially keeping my identity and, mm -hmm. you know, not letting up on those things as a as a performer and, and trying to pursue this career. You, so you said you almost slept with a man by accident on the special, too. Oh, what? yeah. Well, you know, <laughs> she should have just... My goodness. Dang, Jesus Christ, she, right. she, she should have started we, with I, on the special. I, right. You said <laughs> Jeez. Like, what? Why can't I say it in my order? Says, you almost slept with a man by accident. Like what? That that was my drink <laughs> my drinking thing. You know, my drinking I get really fir flirtatious and I I want kids. So I be I be I be, I, I literally sit here and wonder like, do I want to spend thirty, forty thousand? Or can I just, you know, take it real quick for the team because I already, I already had it, you know, and I, that's that's a good business mind. That's that goes to the college funds of my kids. I'm not mad at that. Thank you, yeah. thank you. No, but I, I wasn't, I wasn't having sex. I wasn't having sex with dudes, but I would go up to them and be like, you, you handsome, like in my hoodie and stuff. I'm like, you really handsome. They like, you don't get your boy. <laughs> Boy, if you don't get away from me, <laughs> right? Get, <laughs> get off of me. Then people ever be like, I'm "Man, like, she ain't yes. really. Get, she not really a lesbian. She just acting like that." You know, all dudes <laughs> think that. All it's that one stud they caught on a world star. <laughs> that just mad. Wah, 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 wah. You like <laughs> now you got every dude thinking <laughs> they got a shot. Thanks. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's, it's, she it's, said on the special too that I was trying to eat her out and I couldn't figure out why it wasn't working. Yeah, I, I love how you. What? That's, <laughs> all this out of context. Context is so crazy. I'm not a like, comedian. Like, like, she got to tell her own joke. <laughs> <laughs> Say that again, Yee. <laughs> Say it again, Yee. Because <laughs> we went from talking about smashing a boy, now you just said you was trying to eat her out. Like, what? No, no, no. So, so the joke is that uh, I, you know, I turned straight. I said, I try to, uh, I said, I remember waking up, cuddling with this dude, and he's like, oh, you don't remember last night? And I was like, no wonder it felt weird trying to eat you out. Oh. Um, <laughs> so that's what she was trying to, trying to say. You know what the joke is. You bad with it, boy. You the one that get what? on there. You the I'm egg. Trying. You the egg on social media that takes that <laughs> It's so, it's so interesting though because they used to probably try to make you to conform to be something else. Yeah. But you being yourself is what is getting you these looks it, now. It is what took me over. And yeah. the, and the, and the real thing is that you learn it's really a bunch of people up top that don't even do the stuff that you do. They right. just like structured and all this stuff. But if you see, you know, I gained like almost forty thousand followers in in like a week span, and it's it's dudes, it's women, straight, gay. Uh, uh, pastors, you know, uh, I got, I got the the pastors. nation of Islam that is like, yo, sis, that was good. I mean, I don't really <laughs> mess. I still got to hear all the stuff about it, but I get all types of people, that's and I think that's the evidence of like we've been missing stuff like this. Mm -hmm. What's them letters on your hat? Because. Legendary. It's oh, my okay. Boy, uh, yeah. I'm sitting there thinking it's a new way no. to say L. I'm like, they got added more letters. They what? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Yeah, it's coming. When you walk in, I thought it's too, but I wasn't gonna say oh that. Oh my god! You, we, I seen the LGs. I said, well, maybe this is some new letters. I, I, I just don't. Know. They're scared because they don't want to say anything wrong. Nah, I, right. listen. I grew up in the '80s. I'm, I'm trying to figure out stuff too sometimes. So <laughs> it's, it is a lot of, lot of letters. Do you stay right. away from anything on, on your show? When you when you do comedy, is there anything? Because the world she just told is you trying to eat a nigga out. <laughs> By the way, you can. No, no. she did. No, you, oh. you said what? You eat a nigga out. Was that the, how, how eat the booty game? No, eat his ass. That's all. Man, I'm not eating no dude's <laughs> ass. That shit sound wild. Instead of saying I ate his ass, I ate his. Ass. I ate him out. I ate him. <laughs> what? I like to eat out better because right. I still feel partially gay. You know what I mean? It's like <laughs> we call it like um, boy box. Yeah, boy. Bo yeah, I can't eat no boys. No, no booty. <laughs> I be looking at women sometimes, like we gotta get it together. So Lord have I mercy. can imagine a man's butt, right? Because that always smells worse somehow. <laughs> yeah. A, did you you ever done it, Andrew? No, I'm not a butt eater. I <laughs> attempted it. It just you um, never ate a nigga. Like, you know yet? what else? I don't like my butt ate. So oh, I think I, because now I, I get like my it. butt eaten, but you can't kiss you me after. Smiling? You can't kiss me after. It does tickle just a little bit. Okay. Like in the, right. wait, they can't kiss you after. No. Well, what kind of incentive is that? What do you mean? So now somebody eats it, but now y'all can't even kiss. All right, maybe after I ejaculate, then they could eat. They could do it this way. It don't have to go back into kissing. You don't ejaculate in your butt. No, I'm talking about after <laughs> I nut. After I'm not messing with you anymore. This is I, an interesting I, I conversation. Really, I'm just sitting there amused by this. So go ahead. After, after you ejaculate, hey, go ahead. And first of all, and how do you tell a woman like if she eats you, you eat your butt? 
And then <laughs> she waiting for you to do her. How it's, do you say no? Listen, the real thing is when sex, go, sex goes down, we all do stuff that we probably won't mention. <laughs> right. Yeah, on, yeah, yeah. On, on. Man's a buddy, and he talks about how I much he does. Yeah. No, that's, I mean, that's cool. Yeah, I eat my wife's ass all the time. Well, that's your wife, though. You're supposed yeah. to eat every crevice. Well, he's not on... randomly eating butt. Yeah, I, I ain't eating think. random ass. No, yeah. but that's what I'm saying. Like, if you just, you, you remember the whole eat the booty gang? No, yeah, man. Like, one time for got, Trick Daddy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. If yeah. you got the whole, if you're doing it like that, then that's something mm-hmm. different. Cause I I feel like just running around eating random. I just I mean, and I I like going down. So if I if I fell in love with eating booty, yeah. So basically, you ain't found this that one yet. This need to be changed. You huh? ain't found the one yet. I've eaten booty us. before. She says she is. Oh okay okay. Yes. So she's the one then. She we not together anymore. Hey. Uh, <laughs> so that's why I'm very particular about my, my butt eating. Yeah. Because like, people you know what you I use that as a way to get at you. Well, you did eat my ass. <laughs> <laughs> so this gonna be a, this gonna be a girl that pops up and like she ate my booty. She talking about me. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Probably man. like two, three of them. But oh, we're not gonna shit. talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> we're not gonna talk about that. Ain't that the worst when you start popping? Now everybody want to talk about what yeah, you used yeah, to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's gonna yeah. come out at the, the interview like a. Uh, oh what? my goodness. <laughs> Shantae ate my butt. I'm, I'm gonna get a. Uh, I was trying to think of a better a word. A whole than shade me room too. post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shantae ate my butt. Oh my god. Oh my god. I love it though. So All what right. else is coming up next for you now after the special <laughs> and going on to you have the tour? Yeah, I'm doing a house arrest uh, tour, which uh, we, we got a show out here September 26th at the Gotham Comedy Club. Um, Who's on house arrest? Uh, well, m- well, me. It's, it's it's part of my thing because I don't really like going outside and stuff like that. Gotcha. I, I'm a I'm a homebody. Plus, too much stuff is going on. Oh, you got super in anxiety. the world. Huh, I do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. do. I just I, it's so much energy outside mm-hmm. that I need to come home and feel like I'm at peace, and that's like right. my, my safe haven. How are you a comedian? Don't like to go out. What? Why you gotta go Why out? You I feel like you gotta, to you gotta go to comedy club. You gotta see the world. For what? That's that's the problem with people. Yeah, everybody gets <laughs> they all go these. Out. No, 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 no. You people. Are, I'm I'm in this phase of my life where I'm trying to heal myself and mm, and, and get my stuff together. And I've learned that if I live the way uh, everything that's happening to me right now mm-hmm. has been based on how I changed my life and my mm-hmm. patterns. Mm-hmm. So I don't have to go out seven days a week. I can go out four days, and I need a day or two to myself and maybe for the chick that I might be talking to. So all you know what I mean. But you need gotcha. that come down. Mm-hmm. You need that come down. Gotcha. What else are you doing to help your healing therapy? Uh, no, not therapy. I okay. just, uh, um, I, I'm doing stuff like I just met my dad for the first time, wow. okay. uh, and, and May, uh, and that was like years of me just having, being angry and, you mm-hmm. know, feeling all this stuff. And so I met him and it turned out to be an amazing time. And, How did that happen? Uh, well, you know, I got drunk and, uh, I called him and, uh, all of a sudden the next day he was like, I booked my plane ticket. And I was like, what plane ticket? And uh, he came out and he stayed for two weeks mm. on my uh, studio, in my studio apartment. Mm-hmm. And uh, wow. yeah, it just it just worked out. Well, he <laughs> he called me on my birthday, didn't say happy birthday, but then he came and baked me a cake, uh, even though he spelled my name wrong. It was like <laughs> seeing all these things of him trying. Right, right, right. It was it felt really good. You know what I mean? Did y'all hash out like all your differences, like why he wasn't there or whatever? That's what's dope about him. I, I literally was asked. I filmed it. I, I had like, you know, a little vlog that I did, but I, I haven't edited it yet. But um, I literally was able to ask him like, yo, what was up with? Mm-hmm. Why you do that to my moms? And he was like, yo, your mom's is beautiful, but you know, them hoes is out there. I was like, I wow. feel you. I feel you. He got light yeah. eyes, you know, he he had the, uh, the curly uh, curls and stuff like mm-hmm. that back in the day. So. You know, it was it was it was dope for him to be honest mm-hmm. and um and try. What, what did your mom think about all that? Um, you know, my mom my mom is is all for me trying to better myself. You know what I'm saying? My mom, uh, you know, to be honest, I've witnessed like abusive, uh, you know, her being in abusive relationships and stuff like that. So to even hear that my my dad didn't do that was kind of like already an opening of like mm-hmm. relief. Mm-hmm. You know, so. Um, she's excited. She's happy for me, and you know. Was it painful? What to just to meet him? Yeah, meet him, reliving that whole what you didn't have, just everything. No, nah, I really feel like everything happens for a reason, mm-hmm. and I've been very fortunate to have some some good guys in my life, and and uh, and make it through, and I'm still here. And the fact that I got to see him before he passed, and and you know, uh, get that together. I'm I'm. 
happy. I know your uncle's probably was like, man, fuck that nigga. No, nah, they they like yo. You got a whole new 15, 20 minutes right there. You know, <laughs> every, everything becomes a joke. It right. doesn't it doesn't even matter, man. Like yeah. that's that's new material right. I get to work on. It's 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 hilarious. This dude, he was like taking me to uh, get ice cream in the park. He was like trying to relive all the years. <laughs> You're a grown ass boy. I'm a grown. When I was in that swing, I was like, dude, me, <laughs> grown ass dude. I was. <laughs> It was it was My all goodness. love for me. <laughs> well, we appreciate you for joining us. Mm. It's Shantae Wayne. Yes, make sure, make sure you, go... you watch. If you haven't seen the special, make sure you please check Tiffany that out. Tiffany Haddish presents Day Ready. Yep, That's yep. Right. And yeah. how can people see the tour date so they know how to get this house arrest tour? Uh, everything is C. Wayans, but but go to my website, cwayans.com, and uh, you'll get to see all that. Didn't you used to wear glasses? I did. Would then you? I got a little bit of money and got contacts. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No. Got, you. got you. I remember you, you was on no, Wild no. Out back yeah, in the day. Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Yeah, yeah. All right, it's Shantae Wayans. It's The Breakfast Club. Good morning. Mm-hmm.